everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new mod map called Back Roads County 4X. Now this mod map was released yesterday on the 28th of the 2nd 2024. It is only PC and Mac compatible because it is a 4X map. It's on a version 1.0.0.0. It's 245.93 megabytes to download and it's put together by a map maker called FSG Modding, which I'm sure we're all aware of, and FSG Tasman. So obviously FSG Modding do the fantastic FSG Mod Assistant, and there also be quite a few maps, and this one is the latest one that's been released on Mod Hub. So we'll just scroll up here and just go through over the trees. There's a little bit of information on Mod Hub about it, which we'll run through now. So it says, welcome to Back Roads County 4X, a fictional 4X USA slash Canadian inspired map placed out in the back roads farming industry. There you will find one pre-built farm surrounded with farmlands and forestry. So yeah, definitely a 4X, that's for sure. There's one pre-built farm, there's a lime by point, woodlands for forestry, a sawmill, 81 fields, it's precision farming ready, there's a stone quarry and two train silos. So we probably won't get, be able to fly over most of the map since it is a 4X. But um, yeah, let's uh, probably get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting equipment. So we actually start with an awful lot of equipment, but then again, we do start on a massive map, so it kind of makes sense. We've got two Massa Ferguson tractors in the medium. We've got a uh, 8S and a 3670. So both look like they're brand new with no damage. We've also got a John Deere 7R and a Case Magnum 340 CVX. Very nice tractor, that Case Magnum. We've got a Max Superliner 6x4 truck. We've got the Case Axial Flow 9250 Harvester, self-propelled sprayers. We've then got a Class Telehandler, our 1986 pickup. We've got a uh, Wilson Trailer Pace Setter. We've got a nice auger wagon from Hall. We've got the header for the uh, Case, the 45 foot Draper. Very nice. We've got a stone picker, got a Governor and Plow. We've got a big Rochelle Math Cultivator. We've got the massive Amazonia Cyton Cedar. Got the huge John Deere 1775 NT planter. Got the massive Mega Rolls packed by Dalbo. Got some Pottinger Nova Cat mowers, very nice indeed. Got the massive KHN um, GA windrower, so pretty good. Got the smaller MFRB4160 Protect Baylor, that's the one that came as the uh, update pack actually as well, wasn't it? Then we've got the um, Farsin PF. Animal TMR mixer, couple of telehandler tools, so nothing major, uh, one weight, and then we've got the uh, Bachmann little uh, car trailer. So all very nice indeed, and quite quite well set up for starting your uh, farm, that's for sure. No leased items, and also no map specific items either, so all pretty good. So our farm itself, I must admit, the one thing that is actually required that I've actually forgot at the start of the video as a additional mod is the red barn pack by FSG modding dash FSG Tasman. So it's not actually listed on mod hub as a required mod, but when you do try and activate the game, it does say you need this. So uh, just something to be made aware of. Obviously very nice red barns, I must admit, make it very much an uh, American slash Canadian map. So very good indeed. As you can see, we've got a really big, massive um, area here for our uh, farm. So we've got the right nice red Dutch barn, we've got the silo, we've got another barn here. I think that's uh, actually going to be a bale storage. Nicely done actually, and it's quite nice you've got a bit of an area here for your grassland or your straw work equipment, so that's good. And then over here we've got one of the larger um, sheds here, so that's pretty good. Then up here we've got our house and then our garage for some of our other machinery. So I'm guessing what we've got in here probably. Oh, no, I've also got the workshop trigger as well and our pressure washer. So very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Right. So land wise, what do we start with? So, wow. Start with Farmland 94, which encompasses Field 64 and 63. Now, I'm guessing... Let's crash that. Soybeans? No. Uh, trying to work out what's in that field. Uh, what we see? It's 
grass. Wow, you start with a huge grass field. So you can make some serious money on uh, on silage there, couldn't you really? Wow, okay, so crop calendar wise, it does look like nothing's been added or nothing's been taken away. And I think though, it does look like it's been altered though when it comes to the planting and harvest season, that's for sure. So that has been changed probably to be more in line with an American slash Canadian calendar. The prices for everything is pretty good and looks like we actually start with some wheat in our silo. So 18,500 litres. So um, looks like though we do have quite a few good places to sell, um, at least one or two. Let's do a quick scroll down to make sure most things do sell. This is just the base game by the way, I haven't got any DLCs running either. But yeah, looks like everything does sell and there's no unusual productions or fruits. So solid fertiliser and liquid fertiliser, you get 10,000 of those as well. That's impressive. And we get a cow barn, which I believe is, quick run, 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 run. I believe it is over here behind everything else. I'm guessing, I think it's this one here. So it looks, that did look like, yeah, this is the cow barn. Let's see if we can find the animal trigger. Okay, so it's got a cow barn with an uh, external um, paddock or pasture as well, which is nice. Uh, 500 head, so a good size I must admit, looks like you can put your food there as well. So yeah, they're all in here, so that's pretty good I must admit, very nice. Uh, contracts wise, obviously it does say that they there's 81 fields, so I'm guessing their contracts will be pretty healthy and it's going to be a 4x map, so it's going to be huge. So obviously like field 65 is 57,000 for an oat harvest. So get your course playing your auto drive crack tonic and make some good money off that. You don't start with any production change yourself in new farmer mode, but um, yeah, not too bad at all. Let's have a quick look at our PDA. So being a Forex map, obviously there's an awful lot of range of different size fields and layouts when it comes to actually the uh, sizes and the shapes. So it's quite nice though, so nice unique field shapes. I think this must down here must be the quarry that's been mentioned. So um, the road system is pretty good actually for an American map. It's not too gritty, it's got some nice curves and some nice differences of just having a straight gritty map which is quite nice to see lots of different ways to get to places as well most of the fields look like they are off of main roads or off a few tracks so that's pretty good i must admit so if we have a quick look at what's on the map itself productions and sale points so mossy pine ranch we've got the train container sales grain west silo grain west silo and the rent train trigger so that's where you can store your crops and then sell it on the train we've got a sawmill We've got our Miller's Sawmill Container Sales and we've got Sawmill again. Then up here we have the Back Road Diner, very nice. Gas Station and the BW Feed and Seed Limited. So again, some more nice sell points. I'm guessing this will be the Animal Dealer, yep. And probably the Bales and Silage and Bales and Silage. So pretty standard those. Feed and Grain South, Lime Station, Johnson's Farmer's Market, Gas Station and a Vehicle Workshop. So very good, nothing in this bottom corner. And it's up here, I think, so it's probably the shop, vehicle shop, yep. And we've got the train container sales, and I'm guessing this will be another rent train trigger, green pool east, and the green pool east. So it's so where train comes down from the top, so I'm guessing that's what that is. That goes to green mountain bulbs for it. So train line comes down here, round, round there, round here, and then comes off. And that goes to green mountain as well. So all very nice indeed. So pretty good, pretty good. Right, let's get ourselves into a vehicle. Probably, mm, yeah, you know what? Why don't we take a lorry for a spin for once? What sort of damage can I do with this? What nice to see a Mack truck on a map tour, I must admit. It's pretty good, pretty good. So, obviously it looks like there's two entrances and exits to the farm. So let's go here. So if we have a quick look, we're there. I'm thinking if we go left and then down through here and have a quick look around there, it might be the easiest way. So I'm not seeing any traffic yet, but it is a 4x map, so it might just be all bunched up in one place. Let's see where I'm going to go. So, oh no, there is traffic. I can see some car in the distance. But yeah, I don't think you can have any trouble with um, large equipment on this map. It is a 4x, plenty of wide roads, nice big areas at the sides as well with the uh, gravel on the side of the road, so you can get some nice big equipment just see the train in the distance um, it does have some undulation on this map not a massive amount but it's not completely flat so that's good um, the background's very nice as well and just the uh, 
texturing and just the lighting seems to be very well done as well I must admit so if we turn right so far in our big rig we haven't crashed yet so that's pretty good so lots of forestry though so this is probably a cracking map probably it's quite a good map for a multiplayer if you want to set up uh, different farms etc lots of big fields and it's quite nice to see an American forex map nice sign there yeah I must admit the roads would probably um, be good to have um, something like course by except to be used looks like there's a bit of a hill in the distance over there so you can see the train line and uh, the actual uh, like fences all the way around the trains on the train line to protect it so go around here nice sweeping curve so it's not trying to roll it so coming into a bit of an industrial area here with cell points etc so if we turn around here I think oh, nearly rolled it but yeah definitely very nicely put together and as you see as we get further into the map from the edges it does seem to change its undulation and also the roads seem to go a little bit narrower but they still wide enough for some big equipment especially your big case combines or your big Lexians etc so very nice that's a nice view out there so I think what we'll do though we'll probably pull up here in a second have a quick look at our field prices because that's probably going to be the next thing so being a 4x map it's probably going to be I'd say quite steep but obviously you do get an awful lot of uh, field products as well like you know grain etc so let's stop and pull over here I'll have a quick look at our field prices so okay so we've got a massive amount of land there so if we want to extend into 84 885,000 this is all forestry land 97 110 116 148 okay some of the smaller fields 231 258 sorry 258 as well 572 wow 681 there okay, what about some of these smaller fields up here so 64 65 219 246 268 so yeah very big prices on a big map though so i don't think it's a bad thing and so the background of the pda is quite nice as well just notice that it's very nicely uh, nice done i say it's a picture probably from FS22 and then put through some kind of uh, image manipulation or AI so pretty nice but hopefully you have enjoyed this map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the Grain Man channel and I hope to see you again soon many thanks for watching